Johnson Branch Farm. My name is Rachel. If you're new here, welcome. And man, this weather is amazing. <laughs> it is officially fall. Like, I feel like I keep saying that because the colors just keep turning and getting more vibrant and more vibrant, and the air keeps getting cooler and crisper. But I mean, it's safe to say that. Fall is officially here. I'm really pushing to clear out a lot of stuff in our lives. Um, and I guess people want to put labels on everything, so I'm going to call it minimalism. But I think it's really just going back to a simpler way of living. I am a firm believer that the outside reflects what's going on on the inside and if your home is um, cluttered and just feels unmanageable and you're not able to kind of get ahead in what you're doing that maybe some things need to be um, looked at on the inside and that's kind of that's really where I'm at right now. I have been holding on to a lot on the inside and because of that it's reflecting on the outside and sometimes things just look and feel uh, really chaotic. And I know a lot of that is stuff that is far beyond our control but I do think if we stop and we look we can find things that are within our control that we can simplify. And for me, that's simplifying the amount of things we own, simplifying the things I'm holding on to, both inwardly and outwardly, and really getting it down to a more simple way, a more slow way of living. Uh, we have been going through our house top to bottom. We've been going through our storage shed top to bottom, and it feels so good. <laughs> So good. This whole um, evaluation of looking at stuff and uh, our my goal of always trying to live a life that chases after Jesus and that reflects Jesus has really been playing on my heart. What is the cost? We know that life can change in an instant. Everything we have, everything we work towards can be gone in a moment. So when you keep that perspective in mind, you have to ask yourself, what does it matter and, and what, why am I holding on to so much? We are one storm, one fire, one job loss away from completely losing everything and that is a harsh reality sometimes that I think we have to come to terms with. Treasures that we've laid up in this earth could be gone in an instant and that is a humbling and sobering reminder that this earth is not our home. Lives are transformed when we take our treasures of this earth and use them to lay up treasures in heaven. So if I can maybe take what I have and give it to somebody else that could benefit from it and be blessed by it, to me that's more of a value than holding on to it. And that is an aspect of a slow life, a simple life, a minimalistic life that I want to keep in mind, that I want to embody. The treasures of this earth are just meant to bring others to the feet of Jesus. It's just a tool that we use to lay up treasures in heaven. And by that I mean people. I mean the spiritual things. The things in this life that we will take with us that really matter. Let's be looking for ways that we can use our treasures to be the hands and feet of Jesus. The way that we can use our homes and what we have to lead others to the cross. Because that is what we are called to do in this life. Not store things up, not hang on to old deep fryers we don't think we're ever gonna use. 
to rid our lives of the excess so that we can be more free to freely give. To not chase the latest and greatest and to use those resources to be a blessing to others. So I want to encourage you to look around today. What are you hanging on to that you could maybe pay forward? That you could give to somebody else who is maybe struggling or just starting out or just needs somebody to notice them? What is something you can do right now with the resources you have? I guarantee you're going to find that answer. And I guarantee God is going to use the little things to show up in a great big way. Thank you for watching. Be encouraged. And may the Lord bless you.